everyone, welcome back. I am outside of Walgreens to grab some deals for the sales week of November 21st through November 27th. I did do two online pickup orders. There's only a handful of deals that I'm gonna actually grab inside of the store. I will go over those inside and then when I come back into the car, I'm gonna go over what I grabbed online and I'll put some screenshots on the screen. I didn't get any digital boosters this week. I didn't see if anybody else had gotten any. I haven't really been very active on social media. Um, I think that's everything. There will be a Google Doc link down below if you guys are interested. There is a code TAKE25 that's taking 25% off of certain items. I don't know how long that code is going to stick around for the online orders that I did, but just pay attention to your emails and if you want to go on to webs uh, the Walgreens website online, they usually come up with different discount codes throughout the week that you can use online in case that TAKE25 does go away because I don't know exactly when that's going to happen. So I'm going to go into the store, grab the deals that I'm going to grab in store, and then I'll come back into the car and go over everything and my final cost for everything. There's a couple separate promotions going on on Colgate toothpaste this week. I'm going to do the one that are priced at $3.99. Buy two, get $4 in Walgreens cash. I did do this in my pickup order, but the kind that I grabbed, I guess, was out of stock because they took it off of my order. I will leave that on the Google Doc and explain it in the car, but I'm still gonna pick up the deal now that I'm here in store and I found some. So priced at $3.99, two of them is gonna bring me to $7.98. I'm gonna use a $2 off of one digital and a $2 off of one manufacturer paper coupon. That's gonna take off $4 from the $7.98. I will pay $3.98 for both, get back $4 in Walgreens cash, making both of them completely free. If you don't have any paper coupons, you can use the $2 off of one digital, $4 in Walgreens cash. That's gonna drop you down to $1.98. You can submit to the coupons app for $2 back on one. It makes both of them completely free also after you get that money sent to your PayPal. The Dove anti-press brand deodorant this week is buy one, get one 50% off. And I did find these right here on clearance. It does say Nourish Beauty. They are two in this container. This is the Nourish Beauty. So if these are buy one, get one 50% off, one of them is gonna be $4.29 and the second one is gonna be $2.14. Both of them will bring me to $6.43. I don't have any coupons, but I bought it does have a rebate for $1.50 back on each one, which is $3. And then Fetch also has a rebate for 2,000 points, which is $2 when you buy two, making the final cost $1.43 for both. I'm gonna do this deal by itself because I will roll Walgreens cash. I really didn't expect to find any of the Purex crystals. It's already like five o'clock in the afternoon, but there was four of them pushed all the way to the back. They're on sale this week, three for six dollars. We're not gonna get anything back, but we do have insert coupons from the 1114 save insert. We have a 250 off of two and a dollar off of one, which is 350 that'll come off of the six dollars for buying three, making my final cost 250 for three of these. And these are pretty big. This is a 21 ounce. I'm gonna pair in some of the palm olive dish soap. This week they're on sale for 249. And when you buy two, you're gonna get two dollars on Walgreens cash. Picking up two of these is gonna bring me to 498. We, we do, do have 25 cent off of one insert coupon, so it's gonna take off 50 cents, drop me down to 448. Then I will get back $2 in Walgreens cash for buying two, making it just $2.48 for both of them, or like $1.24 each. Last deal that I'm gonna pair in in store is on the Dove Mindy Odorant. They are buy one, get one 50% off, no in-store rewards coming back on these. So one of them is gonna be $7.29, and the second one is gonna be $3.64. Both of them is gonna bring me to $10.93. I am gonna use two of these $3 off of one manufacturer coupons. I don't know what is on this. I put it in my purse, and I don't know what was in my purse, but it like stained. So hopefully it still scans. But it's gonna take $6 off of the $10.93. I will pay $4.93. Then I'm gonna submit to Ibotta for a dollar back on each one. And then I have one more fetch offer left for buy two, get 2,000 points, which is $2. So I will get back $4 in rebates, making my final cost just 93 cents for both. So this is everything I'm gonna pick up in store. I was gonna pick up the Dove Mint deodorant sticks with the I bought a rebate and the fetch rewards offer that I have and the $3 manufacturer coupons, but I only have one and I think the other ones are at home. So I'm gonna skip that deal today. I'm only gonna grab these in store and then I'm gonna pick up my pickup orders. I should be like $17.50. Um, beef after coupon so I will roll ten dollars in Walgreens cash and then I found this in my purse I don't know how long I've had it so I will pay the rest on this and pay zero out of pocket um, I will get back two dollars in Walgreens cash for the palm olive uh, four dollars in Walgreens cash for the Colgate three dollars on Ibotta if they ring up buy one get one fifty percent off at the four dollars and twenty nine cents and then two dollars on fetch so I made it back into the car from Walgreens and everything went really good. I did go over a Dove Mint deodorant deal in store because I thought I had an extra $3 coupon. 
in the car, which I know I have another one because I made a breakdown last week and I clipped some in the journal and I think I was certain it was in the car, so it's not in here, it has to be at home somewhere, but I couldn't find it. So I just took that off. Um, I know I had an in-store rewards like um, gift card, so I didn't pay anything out of pocket, but with that dub deodorant deal, it would've put me over around $22. I was gonna roll $20 in Walgreens cash and pay like two something out of pocket, um, but I paid zero. If you want to do the breakdown like that, I will leave it in the Google Doc so that you could pay the least amount of, out of pocket because without the dub, men's deodorant i was at like 1740 something so it would only allow you to roll ten dollars and then you pay 740 plus tax out of pocket um or you could split it and do up to ten dollars roll walgreens cash and then up to five dollars and roll, roll walgreens cash but i think it's easier if you just add in the men's deodorant and if you have the coupons with the i bought a rebate now i'm gonna go over what i bought in store and then i'll go over my pickup orders it got dark really really quickly it's only 5 45 and there's no sun but they do have lights around the store and then i use this light so you should be able to see the receipt just fine so here's the first receipt on the dub deodorant i did have her scan them the ones that were on clearance and they did ring up buy one get one 50 percent off now i did mess up on this sale because i bought a re rebate is a limit of one and i thought it was two sometimes i really just it goes right over my head and i don't even pay attention but it was still a good deal because i got back a dollar fifty on ibotta and then two thousand points which is two dollars on um fetch so i always think it's people are judging me when they like walk by and i'm recording in my car but either way so buy one give one fifty percent off one was 429 one was at 214 if you have internet printables it'll make that deal even better um right here the purex were three for six dollars this is the palm olive two at 4.98 this is a colgate two at 3.99 so it rang up for 7.98 and it's not the lighting it's the printer it printed like in a gray color so it's like it's running out of ink which i don't even know how that works with the register okay so my coupons attached to funky because they're all png product are all colgate palm olive products but everything came off they just attached in a weird way so the two dollars says it's off the palm olive but it's a colgate 250 off of two of the purex a dollar off of one purex 25 cent and 25 cent off the palm olive and then i had an extra two dollar colgate coupon so i just used all paper so i wouldn't have to worry about digitals my subtotal was 17.39 i rolled ten dollars in walgreens cash and then i paid the rest on the gift card that i had to store credit um so i paid nothing out of pocket but like i said if you want to pair in the dub mint deodorant you can get over 20 and then pay less than seven out of pocket i got back a total of six dollars and seven cents in walgreens cash i got back four dollars for the colgate and two dollars for the palm olive and then i did submit to ibotta for a dollar fifty back on the dove spray and then 50 cent any receipt i did have an any receipt rebate for 50 cents which was nice so i got back two dollars for this receipt and then i did submit over to fetch and i got back i wrote everything on different papers um 2064 points which is two dollars and six cents so in total for this receipt i got back ten dollars and thirteen cents it makes the final cost of this receipt seven dollars and thirty six cents in store rewards and like i said i was going to spend rewards i do have like or i did have like a hundred almost a hundred dollars in walgreens cash on this account so i lost store rewards but i paid a little bit out of pocket and i'm getting back cash from my bada on all of my transactions today i haven't couponed at walgreens since the new ad came out with the ad coming out it was confusing and then i was moving and then unpacking now i'm gonna go over my online orders i did two separate orders on the first one i did the stay free pads and a baby ruth bar now the baby ruth bar is a dollar 39 online there's a shop kick offer for scan it in the store get 15 kicks and purchase it get 150 which is 165 kicks that's 66 cents now obviously purchasing it online you're not gonna get the in-store kicks but i went to the photo counter to pick it up so when he was printing out my receipt i scanned it in the app really quickly so i did get that um 15 kicks plus 150 which is 66 cents on shopkick and then i bought it has a rebate for 25 cents back so it's 91 cents it drops it down to 43 cents but there is a take 25 code that's going to take 25 percent off the original price of a 134 so off of that it takes off 35 cents it makes the final cost of this just eight cents the next deal I did on the same transaction was the Stay Free Pads. They're on sale for $5.99 each, so picking up two brings you to $11.98. There is an only for you digital coupon that you may or may not have on your account, so check to see if you have it. It's a $6 off of two digital coupon, so that's gonna drop you down to $5.98. Now the Take 25 um, digital 
like online coupon is taking off another dollar fifty. So that's gonna drop you down to four dollars and forty eight cents, which you will pay or roll in Walgreens cash. Then you can submit each one to Ibotta for two dollars back on each one. It makes your final cost for both just forty eight cents, and that is an amazing deal um, to donate or keep for you or your family. So for this first transaction, I did just the stay free and the baby ruse. So right here it shows ten forty or that 1048 for both that's taking off the dollar 50 with the take 25 and then it's taking or it's showing a dollar 04 with the 35 cents for the take 25 and then i had the six off of two my subtotal was five dollars and 52 cents with tax was 5.98 i rolled five dollars in walgreens cash and paid just 98 cents out of pocket for this and then i did submit my receipt to ibotta for this transaction i got back four dollars for the stay free 25 cents for the baby ruth and then i submitted my receipt to shopkick and i got 66 cents there so my subtotal for this transaction was 552 i got back 491 in rewards it makes two of the pads in the candy bar a final cost of just 61 cents which is really good i'm happy with that and then the last transaction that i did was also an online pickup order um i also used a take 25 off of this i picked up three of the pepsis um we have a three dollar off of five pepsi cola digital coupon that worked on these and this week these are two for three so picking up three of them brought me to a dollar fifty on each one makes it four fifty and then i picked up two lace chips they are the smaller ones that the coupon is attaching to i picked up two of them for a dollar 79 each now picking up all five of those products on just that deal will bring you to eight dollars and eight cents so then that um, three dollar off of five will come to off and drop you down to five dollars and eight cents for all five products and i don't think that the take 25 worked on these products so your final cost for three pepsis and two bags of chips would be five dollars and eight cents or about a dollar each next item i picked up on the same transaction is the poise liners these are 7.79 the take 25 is taking off a dollar 20 it's going to drop you down to 6.59 there's a three dollar off of one manufacturer coupon that's going to leave you to pay 3.59 in the store you can roll that in walgreens cash if you want there's an ibotta offer that i have for a dollar 50 on my account and then there's a dollar bonus for when you purchase the one the poise one at walgreens which is two dollars and fifty cents it makes the final cost of the a dollar and fifty nine cents which is a pretty good deal on feminine care also. Two more items that I picked up on this transaction are the Nivea Men Shave Foam. These are 10% off this week, so they ring up for $2.69 each. Picking up two is gonna bring you to $5.38. The promotion on these is buy two, get $5 on Walgreens cash. So after you get back the $5 on Walgreens cash, it makes it just 38 cents for both. No, I bought a rebate for these, and also the Take 25 does not work on this item, but 38 cents for both of them is a really good deal. And then lastly, the last two items I picked up were on the Shea Moisture Smoothies. These are priced at $3.39 each. The Take 25 is working on these and taking off 44 cents. So that drops you down to $6.34 for both. There's a $5 off of two manufactured digital coupon that you can clip to your account that will attach to these. That's gonna come off of the $6.34 and make your final cost for both of these just $1.34. And these are really cute to stick in like a gift basket or even like a stocking stuffer. So $1.34 for both of these. I'm gonna go over the final cost for this third transaction. So here is the receipt. $4.50 for three of the soda, $5.38 for two of the Nivea Men, $6.59 for the Poise Pad because the Take 25 took off $1.20. This is the smoothies for $6.34. The Take 25 took off $0.44. Cents. This is the Frito-Lays. The Take 25 took off $0.28 cents from the chips. So it did work on the chips. It didn't work on the soda. It was $1.51 for both of those bags. Digital coupons right here, the Poise Liners, $3 coupon, the $5 off the Shea Moisture, and then the $0.66, cents, $1.68, and the $0.66 cents was the three off of five Pepsi Cola products. So my subtotal was $14.83. And then um, I actually paired in two of the Colgate products in here, which I will leave that actual breakdown in the Google Doc because it put me at like $20.81. So I rolled $20 in Walgreens cash and I only paid $0.81 cents at checkout. But when the store didn't have it in stock, it readjusted my transaction. So I didn't actually pay anything out of pocket. If you roll a certain amount of money out of pocket um, when you do an online order and they don't have everything um, and it's below what you rolled, it'll actually like 
just take out the amount that it needs to cover the transaction and then you will end up not paying anything out of pocket which is what happened to me so that happened to me a couple times here it just took $15.91 in Walgreens cash and I paid zero out of pocket I did get back five dollars in Walgreens cash in this transaction for the Nivea Min shave I got back two fifty dollars when I bought it. I got back $1.50 for the poise pads and then the dollar bonus for buying it here at Walgreens. I did scan my receipt to fetch and I got back 2,004 points for a bunch of the Unilever products and the Lay's products that I picked up, um, which is 20 cents. So my subtotal was $14.83. I got back seven, $7.70. seven That makes my final cost for this third transaction $7.13. Um, and I paid zero out of pocket because of the way it worked online. So everything today, my cost of the transaction in store cost me $7.26 my online order cost me $7.13 and then the other online order cost me $0.61 cents. everything today that I picked up 22 items cost me $15 so today's haul was a $15 store reward um, cost because I actually only paid $0.98 cents out of pocket for the way everything worked out for me um so yeah, and I think I got back like $8.50 on Ibotta. So I earned more cash than I actually spent out of pocket today, which I think I'm gonna start aiming for that here at Walgreens to aim for the low out of pocket, even if I'm losing story rewards. That does bring us to the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. All of the breakdowns will be left down below in the Google Doc. If you have any comments, just leave them down below in the comment section and I will try to get back to you guys as soon as possible. Bye.